If you're scared at home and paranoid at home, then nobody should be living like that. I think somebody who is brave enough to confront the fact that they've been financially abused deserves as much support and as much love as you can give them. So the biggest thing would be to reach out to 1800 Respect. And when you're doing that, making sure that you're doing that in a safe environment, so away from where uh, you know, the person can overhear you. And just ask the questions, is this normal? Is what I'm going through abuse? But the first thing you need to do is get in a safe position and make that phone call to them and ask them for help, because you don't have to do it alone. There are people out there whose job it is to help put you back together. And I wouldn't have been put back together without them. Being honest with my family was almost like them handing me a key and being like, you don't have to be stuck here anymore and it's okay and there's no shame and we will deal with this one piece of paper at a time. Once I problem solved my physical safety, I had to then check my financial safety. So, okay, well, how do I pay my mortgage? And there was planning, like I told him that I was filing and I bought one of those file carriers that you just pick up. But what he didn't know is I wanted it all in one place. So I had this one case I knew I could just pick up and go with. It was slightly terrifying and scary to, uh, to begin with, um, in that I could go and, and do all of these things for myself and make these decisions for myself, and because um, I hadn't done it for so long. I knew that there was violence, I knew it was abusive, but I hadn't realised what was missing and like, basic human decency and kindness. It took me a long time to trust someone enough, but I think eventually you have to learn that some people are trustworthy. And for me, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has taught me that it's okay to be in positions where you're not comfortable and it's okay to be in positions where you feel like there's no way out. And as long as you're patient and you breathe and you trust that your body and your instincts know how to get you out of this, then you will. So for family and friends, if they, if they suspect that somebody that they know or love is, is, is going through this, is to also reach out to 1-800-RESPECT because they'll be able to give them advice and they'll be able to give you advice on maybe uh, you know, other services that you, you might be able to access to support you in your caring role with this person. I think if you can see that something is happening, it's really important that you remember that people deal with things in their own way and that you need to be patient. If it's safe, let them know they can come to you. Offer to lend them a phone. Offer to lend them a computer. But let them know you're there and what you think is going on for them. And if there's bruises, don't pretend you don't see them. But don't become someone else that says you should leave because Sometimes it's not safe to leave and it wouldn't be a plan. If you meet somebody who is experiencing financial abuse with judgment and you meet them with questions like, why are you still paying for him? Or why don't you just cut the bank account? Or why don't you just drain the funds from there? All it does is put walls up between you and the person who really needs you the most. In or out of an abusive relationship, having money gives you choices. And when you've got no access to money, your choices are very limited. Where do you go? What do you do? Addressing financial abuse can really start to open up some doors and to provide opportunity to people who need to leave, who can't. If you take away that person's ability to control that element of your life, then you stand a far greater chance of, of, of being able to get away from all the rest of it as well. Yeah. Most people who contact us let us know that the financial abuse was happening for a very long time before they recognised what was going on. It might have started at the start of the relationship or when they were well into the relationship. Others even let us know that the abuse started after they'd left the relationship. The most important thing to remember is if something doesn't feel right, um, to reach out and to know that there's support out there. You can start by contacting 1800RESPECT and talking to one of our counsellors.